I'm ready. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Double Down Reviews. I'm Tyler. I'm Tim. Today we're looking at uh, Hot Toys Jack Sparrow from Dead Men Tell No Tales. And uh, he's got a really big base. Yeah. And a really big box. This is um, the, the DX version? Yep. Is that Does he come with the base? Was there a regular without the base? I don't think so. This is the only version they did? I think this is the only one they did. Okay. And I think it's the only figure they did for this movie. But I believe it's the, one, it's the only one you need. So, um, This Jack Sparrow he looks really awesome. Uh, his base is really cool. I like the pirate flag. And he has the movable stand um, for, uh, what's that called? Dynamic posing. Dynamic posing. Flight posing. Is this a zombie shark? Zombie sharks. I don't know. I never finished the fifth movie. <laughs> but it's Jack Sparrow. And yeah. he's just an uh, iconic pirate character that everyone loves. So I had to pick him up. Uh, tons and tons of accessories with this figure. Like a ridiculous amount of accessories. Uh, if you're counting like the flag... The ship mass. Uh, he's got his hat. He's got his compass, which actually opens up. Uh, he's got a bunch of interchangeable hands. He's got a separate head sculpt. Uh, all the goodies that go on his belt, um, like the shrunken heads. Uh, there's uh, his sword, dagger, scabbard, two muskets, a wanted poster, um, his bottle of rum, uh, another bottle from I, what I would think would be the fifth movie with the, the ship in the bottle. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just lots of lots of stuff, and the attention to detail that they did on his costuming is really really awesome. They uh, put a uh, wireframe in his coat for, like we said before, dynamic posability. Uh, his hat is actually made of like a soft leather, which is pretty cool. I was expecting a plastic, but uh, paint application, all that stuff is amazing, and they have a mixture of. Uh, sculpted hair and rooted hair to kind of give uh, that element of realism. And it's like his dreadlocks. So his like dreadlocks are sculpted. Yeah, his dreads are sculpted and some of the longer strands, but then he's got soft, you know, rooted hair up here mixed in with uh, all the jewelry and all that stuff that he has hanging up there. Uh, like I said, oh, he also has his telescope. A uh, total of like three belts plus his sash. Uh, you can take his coat off if you want to. And then he's got his, his sword, which I believe is metal. It looks like this is metal, but maybe it's just painted that way. No, plastic. I think this is metal, though. It's too heavy. Um, and uh, he also has this head sculpt, which has the eye pins. Uh, just changes out like a standard Hot Toys figure. There's the magnet on the top, and you just pull out, and this one you can have him kind of giving you that little Jack Sparrow smirk. The side eye. And, uh, and the side eye. Does this one not have the eye post then? I don't know. I haven't taken his head off yet. Pop his eye off. Let's find out. Oh, boy. Just snap his head off on... This is live! Well, it looks like it just magnets off. I'm sure it do. There's this mm. bottle of rum. I mean, does his hair lift off the top first? Because it almost looks like there's like a there's a ball joint. I would think his hair comes off. Like this? Yeah. The whole thing! <laughs> he wore a wig the whole time! <laughs> that was the scariest thing I've ever seen. Good. <laughs> That one does have the eye. This one also has the eye post. But you can't even tell. So good at hiding it. <laughs> Just Wonk Eye Sparrow. Crooked eyes. This is uh, his other name. Um, no, like I was saying before, though, the attention to detail on this figure is awesome. The tailoring on the coat, the buttons, everything. It's all there. Um, I did roll his sleeves up. I was trying to see if they had the Sparrow tattoo on his forearm, and they don't. A little let down with Hot Toys. Mm. But yeah, I just had to get this guy. You know, iconic characters are always fun to have. When people see him on their shelf, they're immediately pointed out. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot of changing in and out his accessories yet. Um, 
I just he needed to have his big pirate coat on. But at the same time, I kind of want to pose him, just like sitting down, drinking his bottle of rum, and having his coat off and relaxing. Um, yeah, the base is really heavy. It's two separate parts. You take, well, I guess three if you count the actual stand. But if you t you can take the flag. Flag. I was gonna say the mass. Flag. You can take this off, and then this also unscrews. So if you're putting it back into the boxes and all that stuff, it doesn't take up a ton of space. Uh, the box itself is enormous, which I'm going to get into right now. <laughs> Little pimp my ride esque looking. Um, <laughs> it's got the stuff all on the, the side here. Jack Sparrow. They got some shark stuff. Back it has the credits, and it's just magnets that hold it closed, just like that. It pops open. Ugh. You got this thing from the, the fifth movie. Oh my goodness. I'm going to show this thing. I'm going to take this. Instruction manual that came with it. Figure stands inside like that. Also has a slot for the separate head sculpt. And then underneath this is just like a standard uh, Hot Toys cradle for the figures and the accessories oh, and all that too. stuff. And that the accessory thing that holds all like the hands and sword and all that stuff sit in here. Also came with some extra pegs for the hands and it came with a little set of tweezers because there is some assembly required on him. Um, for the stuff that kind of goes onto his belt you have to push it under, grab onto it and loop it. A uh, little, little monotonous but it in the long run it makes the figure worth it to have all the accessories hanging off of his belt because it's Captain Jack Sparrow just having a bunch of junk on him all the time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, all the little details are great. Like even his little wanted poster, we'll get some shots of this stuff up close. But uh, I mean, the tiniest things have so much detail. I mean, you can see the, the tattoos on Jack's knuckles, his rings. Yeah, the rings have really good detail for how small they are. Yeah, awesome. he's got the sash tied around his hands. I mean, it's, it's a good looking figure. Even if you weren't a fan of uh, Dead Man Tell No Tales. The later movies. Yeah, the, this is a shrunken head. Yep. I don't know what this is, like a bone of some kind with a medallion or something. And like well, a, it's like a shrunken hand. Shrunken hand. Or Christopher Elliott's hand from Scary Movie. <laughs> this is extra piece of hair? Does this go somewhere? Is it a replacement for something? Uh, it's probably something else that hangs on his belt because it has that loop on it. Okay. <clears throat> and his hat? Yep. Did his you hat. talk about this being real leather? I did, yeah. Real leather, not no hard plastic. Um, is there anything you want to hint on for this guy, or...? Uh, he looks amazing. Tons of detail, tons of accessories, just packed. Packed with stuff here. Uh, the boots are actually one big piece, but they're soft enough that they really don't hinder the ankles mm -hmm. at all. So you get that all the way to there, and it doesn't stop it at all. Yeah, it's got the big swashbuckler boots. Yeah, bucket boots. You talk about uh, articulation. Articulation. Uh, actually, I was going to take his coat off for that. Okay. Because I think the coat might hinder it a little bit. I'll do it, do some with it on, and then do it with it off, so they can see. He's talking about you. Um, yeah. So with with the coat on, um, like I said, I was a little worried that it might hinder some of the posability, but we're gonna go for it. Uh, you got. <clears throat> He's ready for flight. Um, got his elbow, wrist. None of that's really hindered by it. I mean, that's probably as high as you'd want to go with his arms for with the coat on. Um, shoulder. I mean, he's definitely not going to be like crossing his arms or anything, just because pulling tighter. But it looks good. Uh, he's got a waist cut. He's got uh, ankle ball. <laughs> he, he he can kick. Yeah. All of his clothes seem soft enough that he can do some yep, really good posing, got, actually. Look at that. He's dancing away, probably on Tortuga someplace. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's actually, 
no restrictions as far as I can tell from from the coat. I mean, even if we take the coat off, he's still going to have a long sleeve underneath it. Yeah. So it's it's not restrictive at all. Yeah. Even with what is he? Have, three belts and a sash on. He still has waist articulation. <laughs> yep. And like we said, the uh, the head comes apart in different different spots. It's like a fancy lad stance. <laughs> um, but yeah, you just pull here, that just comes off, which is kind of gross. And then you got a weird, even creepier, like, Detroit Become Human Johnny Depp head. <laughs> but uh, all in all, this figure is nuts. The amount of stuff that came with it, how good it looks, and just the detail on everything is crazy. And we're... First time, you're seeing it right here. I'm going to see <laughs> how the back of his costume all looks. Yeah, I'm going to see you. Or you're going to see me break his arms. <laughs> Speaking of all the stuff that this guy came with, how much was this figure? This had to be almost 300 bucks, right? Yeah, he was sitting at 265 270 Really? That's not bad. I thought it would be more in the almost like 280 290 range. No. No, no. Hot Toys wouldn't do that. <laughs> this is a huge base. Tons of accessories. I mean, two face sculpts with the eye posts. 265, eh? Yep. Well, that's kind of like, like I said, that was, a, get it. that was a reason that I pulled the trigger was it's it's Jack Sparrow. Whether you've seen Pirates of the Caribbean or not, you know who this guy is. And it's cool to have something like that in your collection because everyone knows. Yeah. Like, they just see it and they're just like, that's Jack Sparrow. There he is, holding onto the ship mast, sinking in the water, drinking his bottle of rum. Um, yep, he also came with, I think I mentioned, his telescope. Does it actually telescope? It does not. Don't do it. And then he's also got his uh, other musket. The paint oh, work yeah. on this is Those so good. two different muskets. That's cool. Yeah. Those are sweet. And, uh... He, the belts are also interchangeable. I feel like they kind of made this Jack Sparrow to be their best. Like, I was going to say it's kind of like an all-in-one It's Jack an all-in-one. <laughs> like, you can literally, they just put Velcro on these. So if you want to remove some of these and keep it more traditional Jack Sparrow, you have traditional Jack Sparrow. Yeah. Like, you just take off. Without any hair. Without his hair. Still Robot Sparrow. But, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Which I might actually keep this one off just because it's an enormous belt <laughs> that kind of restricts uh, some more of the stuff. But, yeah, I mean, he's got everything. His little his little compass to all Put that. Put back on, and we'll see what he looks like with the, the jacket off. Mm. I, I sound like Bobcat Goldthwait right there. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> There he is, Just hanging out. You got Yak Sparrow himself. Stuff your Legolas in a pirate costume. There you go, Will Turner. He's got an idea. <laughs> it's not a bad idler. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this figure looks great any way that you want to have him. You could literally have him swashbuckling, leg forward, ready to sword fight. Or just have him hanging out on a chair drinking some rum. Can you hold a sword at this hand? I don't know, maybe. We're about to find out. He's gonna break my finger. Yep. Don't worry, it'll come out. <laughs> there you go. Swashbuckling Sparrow. Almost fell over. Put his hat on. Give the people what they came for. Aha! There he is. Or you can have Johnny Depp getting eaten by a shark. Or Johnny Depp <laughs> getting eaten by a shark. Ah! Um, uh, his little... Uh, what's his Sash? Thing? Sash. I was going to say scabbard, but I knew it wasn't right. His sash does have a magnet on it. Um, kind of just holds it in place if you still have that extra belt going over it. I'm sure if you put, you know, the bandolier... Is this called a bandolier? Sure. A bandolier with the... With a, a sheath? A sheath. Um, it's perfectly balanced. Handmade by Will Turner. Um, I'm so, sure this wouldn't sit up like this. Like I said, it kind of has that magnet to keep it in place. If you have the other stuff on it, I'm sure it's just going to lay down. 
Uh, I actually think I like him more without the coat, to be honest. It's just Jack Sparrow. With like a <laughs> with the pose. I was gonna have him swashbuckling, but he dropped his he, he forfeited the fight. <laughs> yep, no arm tattoos, no brand. Huh. Hot toys dropped the ball. Yeah, I thought they would have such a sure. iconic thing is his the P brand, the PP brand. You could probably do the water trick on the the sash. On the sash and kind of wet it down a little, give it, uh, let it hang more naturally. That probably worked just fine. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. This is a sick figure. Even thinking about buying it, just do it. It's worth it. I was so pleasantly the, surprised. My okay. first time with eyes on this thing, and it's awesome. Now if they just make a deluxe Mr. Gibbs. <laughs> Just big mutton chops. Sleeping in a pig pen. <laughs> Sleeping in a pig pen. Uh, yeah, I feel like the posability for this figure, though, is great. Whether you're doing it with the base or diorama, anything like that. Get a little measurement of how tall this flagstaff is. About 12 and a half inches for this base. Let's see. About how wide it is. It's about 8 inches wide and 12 inches tall. This takes up some shelf space. Jack is about 12 inches. Yeah, just about. Um, yeah, like I said, this figure honestly blew me away. Um, I love everything about it, and it makes me remember why I love the movies so much. Yeah, well, the first three. Um, yeah, it makes me want to watch the original trilogy. All right, so, based on price, articulation, accessories, out of 10... I'd give it a 10. A 10 out of 10? This figure is loaded with accessories. Loaded. And they didn't skimp out, aside from the, hand, the arm tattoo, they didn't skimp out. He has everything. His costume's amazing. The The detail and paint application on both head sculpts are on point. Uh, I mean, if you like the movies and you're thinking about picking this up, just do it. You will not regret it. The, the base is even cool looking. Yeah. It's just got everything that you want. Very cool. Very cool. You heard it here first. A 10 out of 10 for Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Let us know yeah. what you guys think. If you hate the movies, great. Tell us. Let us yeah, know. Tell us what your favorite movie was. The five. I think they're making a sixth also. Is there only five? Are they making a fifth, sixth movie? What is he going to do? I've got a, I've got a time traveling ship, man. <laughs> <laughs> you can Bye. Kill